and one will be a Jim Lee type. Actually, you know, like we were talking earlier, uh, what is it we're showing? I'll have two guys talking to each other, okay? okay? It's a boring scene. Right. It's a talk scene. Unless they're you and me, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. In this one, it's going to be very clear what's happening and everything, but it, it, it's not a shot... It's not an artistically uh, pleasing shot. This mm -hmm. one I'm going to play around with and create a little more depth in it and play around with the mood and, and put those little extra things Terrific. Which, which make those panels I gotcha. better. Right. And actually, I picked this all up from uh, the book you did with John B. Summer, How to Draw uh, Comics the Marvel Way. And uh, so there's nothing real new here, but, <laughs> but, but it's fun to see it. Okay. Uh, do your panel borders. Okay. You're also known for your borders, I might <laughs> What am I not known for? <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's say we got to For go. being in a bad mood, I think. All right. We gotta... Now, these are the two men talking. Right. You got a cigar here. Now, it looks like he's standing. Is he leaning on a table? Yeah, he's leaning. This is because it's so small. It's just going to be a little shorthand. Fine. Here. So we're really talking layout. We're going to see a good layout and a bad layout. Or inadequately. Right. Well, this this isn't awful. Uh, it certainly tells what's going on. It's very right. clear and everything. Uh, and actually, you might even want to do a panel like this to start with to establish a scene. I just, you know, I wouldn't do a whole story. It quietly. Right. I wouldn't do a whole story at this depth, which is a medium shot, uh, at this kind of angle, which is uh, straight on. Um, but uh, whatever. Well, now I'm going to tell you something. I find that when an artist is really as good and as adept at you, it, as you, it is very difficult to draw something that isn't good, because even though you're, you're considering this fairly simple and uninteresting, mm -hmm. I mean that's really a beautiful layout. You know, it's it, it te it's concise, it's well balanced. But all right, now let's see how you're going to do to make okay. it exciting. All right, I guess basically his boss is balling him out. Yeah. And, and and from the gestures, I don't get that sense. You know, you might have written. The, the fat boss is balling out his, his, his underling here. Who is standing like this. Right, and this, this, this adequately takes it, uh, it yeah. tells the story, but it, it just it doesn't convey some of, some of the emotional stuff that you want to carry through in your story. So in this one, I'm going to have the boss in the foreground. He's going to be much larger in, in the image, and he's going to be leaning in on the guy. The baller is going to be much bigger right. than the ball right. lead. Right, and, okay. and you can see I like to do a lot of stuff where I'm looking right behind the shoulder kind uh -huh. of thing. Right. You don't have to draw as much. <laughs> Now, this is going to be a Jim Lee bawling out. Right. I mean, we're going to feel the pain of that guy who's being bawled out, right? Right. Now, and, of course, he's got a cigar with a lot of smoke coming out. I don't know if when you're writing and stuff, whether you, uh, like, sound out the sound effects or whatever. Because, like, when I'm drawing, I go, you know, whatever. And always. I, I always make the grimace of the character. So mm -hmm. when I'm drawing... Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. Make the, Even though I'm not drawing it, I'm making fake. My wife comes in all the time and says, what's happening in here? She <laughs> hears the noises. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay, and then he's got... And then this guy, to, to show that he's, he's being flustered here, I'll have him reach uh -huh. in uh, on his collar there. So he's got his finger in here. Trying to loosen his collar because it's getting very tight all of a sudden. It's getting, it's getting tight. And feels getting the pressure. In there. Yeah, absolutely, and the right. smoke is all over the place. And that smoke is another little bit of your little shorthand. Right. And I'll play with it and let it trail around like it's a living thing uh -huh. here. Because usually smoke just goes straight up. It's pretty boring. But you can take a license you can take license with it and go, oh, okay, it's gonna snake around like this and <laughs> and I'm gonna tilt his body back a little bit like that to to show that he's moving away from the guy. And uh we can sort of con guy with glasses and Well I think actually it's it must be clear and plain to anybody that this kind of, and there's your shorthand again. Right, right. That this kind of a layout certainly has more emotion, it has more drama, and it's more eye catching. All right. It's usually more. Yeah, I must admit, I, <laughs> you like that one? Well, maybe, I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Uh, you know, take uh, take all this all this stuff with a grain of salt. Uh, yeah. No, but it was a good example. Yeah. Let me ask you, because we've only got about five minutes more tape really? left. Really? Wow. Okay. Is there anything you yourself, you know, without me butting in, is there anything you'd like to draw? Anything you'd like to show us? Let me let me do like a, a more finished piece. Everything I was doing is still a little rough. Okay, go ahead. Um, in okay. five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. 
I'm not trying to put pressure on you, you know. Nah, you know. But what? that tape is rolling. Uh, convention wants Four to minutes. Do, uh, draw in <laughs> 60 seconds. Uh, but, uh... You gotta do this first. Three and three quarter minutes. <laughs> okay. I know, you always make your little loose thing with your... Well, most every artist does that, I guess, right? You, you rough it in very lightly. People go to the very elaborate measures to make sure that the drawing will fit in the mm -hmm. space. They'll do even tighter stuff than this. Okay. <clears throat> Not when they only have three minutes left. No, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Get an eye here. I usually start with the eyes or the wisp of hair that is sort of a trademark that right. I put right between the... Let me ask you a question while you're drawing, sure. if it doesn't throw you off, and I mm. know it won't. How many uh, pages do you do a day, or panels, or however uh, you want to classify it? I, 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 I'll typically do like one page a day. Really? I can do more. And is that pencil and ink? Uh, no, just pencil. Pencil. One right. page of pencil. Mm -hmm. But of course, as elaborate as you make each panel, I can understand why it would be one. But one a day, the way you draw, that's quite a lot. Do it is. Do you put yeah. in a long day? Uh, typically. Don't stop to scratch your oh, lip. Right. It's now two and a half minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can scratch your lip and we're finished. How uh, long a day do you put in? I'd say I put in like 10 to 14 hours. In, really? Yeah, six days a week. Oh, man. Like I said, it's labor intensive. It just You're just drawing so much stuff. It's just not It's not just cars and not just people. You've got to draw buildings and people. and. Uh, yeah. Well, of course, if you put in maybe 15 hours a day, you might have sold 9 million copies. <laughs> well, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's it's a real kick. Uh, it's a terrific job. I'd, I'd advise it for anybody that... Well, you seem very happy with it. And you seem somehow very relaxed and very easygoing. You know, I figured a guy like you...